Hey, so I'm here with another video and I want to talk about building community during this time of COVID-19 where everybody is kind of worried and kind of freaked out, which is something we should be not worried, but concerned and prepared. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about right now. I want to talk about how we can build community and support each other in a time where we are supposed to be um, isolating more. And one of the things I'm thinking of is that seniors are the ones which are supposed to especially stay home and not go out because there is a group which has been, at least at this point, the most affected and or impacted and the most likely to need hospitalization and so forth. And the problem is not having to go to the hospital. The problem is if too many people have to go at the same time. Seniors tend to be more isolated to begin with. So one of the things I think we all can do is to find out if we have somebody in our community, could be face community, could be your knitting club, could be whatever, who is in a situation of being at home. And let's not forget that a lot of seniors are not that internet savvy and might not even have um, the tools like we have, we have a social media platform where we can talk to each other all over the world. A lot of them are still bound to the telephone so maybe we all can reach out and find somebody we can call on a daily basis and say how are you doing so that's one the other one i want to tell you about is that there's regular every day almost every hour laughter yoga available on the phone and if you don't know what laughter yoga is i'm going to do a whole another video about that and I might be starting to offer laughter yoga via Google Hangout or Zoom or something like that. Because as we all know, laughter makes you feel better. <laughs> and I think a lot of people are going into panic mode right now, or at least being more worried. If we are more worried, our immunity goes down, then we get more worried about that and it becomes this vicious cycle. So. Stay tuned for some laughter yoga news, probably coming tomorrow, depending. I have a lot of things to do in the garden. And speaking of garden, if you do have a garden, I highly encourage you to plant at least double of what you think you can eat. If this thing is ongoing and if the worldwide uh, supply chains are being somewhat interrupted, which I don't think they will be, but panic can do a lot. And if people get very worried and upset, there might be all kinds of actions coming we don't have any influence over. So I encourage you to plant at least double of what you think you can eat. So you have plenty of things to give away if you find that somebody in your community is of need. That's something we can control, we can do. If you garden on your windowsill, plant extra herbs. <laughs> <laughs> herbs is one way to get high nutrition in your body they don't take much space and they're just very amazing all right talk to you soon